summer of recession, there seems to be evidence that real estate is going to get even worse. Fox News contributor Bob Massey, live from Las Vegas. Last week we heard that home prices had fallen again, down 33% from the high, I think it is. Are you telling me that they're going to fall even more? Yes, they are. And you and I have had this conversation yep. several times. And I wish I could say to you that in Las Vegas in particular, it's going to get any better. But there's really five areas that's being affected. You have Florida, you have Michigan, you have Phoenix, Arizona, you have Las Vegas Ground Zero, and you have Southern California. There's really no trend where things are going the other way whatsoever. It's interesting, Stuart, I had uh, lunch about two weeks ago with a representative from one of the lenders, and I will not mention the lender's name. And he told me that some of the lenders, including the one he represents, literally has a three to six year plan of going through the foreclosure process on these homes. Because I said to him, I said, explain something to me. Why is it that I have people that are living in their home for three years? and they still haven't been foreclosed on. Now, they've saved a heck of a lot of money. And he said, Bob, we can't afford to take all these homes. We can't afford to pay the property taxes and the insurance and maintain them. So, but it's on the books. Those properties are it is on, on the, the books. books of the bank sure as a non-performing loan, presumably, and that's a negative for the bank. You think it would be an even bigger negative if they took back the home in its entirety and kicked the people out? Well. Well, the thing is, is the average cost, and this is something that's pretty much out there, the average cost on a national level to foreclose on a home is $57,000 to the lender. And that's from all the process of labor, taking the home back, maintaining it, rehabbing it, things of that nature. So it's an exp and that has nothing to do with the losses that they're taking. So yes, but you know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not a CPA tax guy, but Surely what at once was an asset on their book surely can no longer be an asset. That's right. for sure. But it just seems like that in Vegas, for example, Stuart, I will represent to you that there are, there are different pockets of Vegas that are obviously worse than others, just like in Florida and Lauderdale's worse than some other places. But there, there has been a learning curve. But here's what I don't get, honestly, and, and you guys are in this world every day. Why is it that this learning curve hasn't taught them something? Because the same thing we're talking about today, we talked about a year ago, and nothing seems to be getting better as it relates to dealing with the homeowner. I get the values, but there, there's nothing better that they're dealing with the homeowners, and I don't get it. I really I, don't understand it. You know, I wish I had a good answer for you, Bob, but I don't. I, I flat out don't, huh. because you're right. We've been holding exactly the same conversations for a year, maybe 18 months, maybe two years. Yep. Uh, it, yep. Down, 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 down. We're waiting for the vultures to come in. Well, some of them have come in. The banks are still holding onto these properties. The foreclosure ma mess is still with us. Nothing has changed, and that's the truth. And you know, and yeah, you know real what, fast, Stuart, Bob, go the ahead. Other, yes, the other thing that you know, we haven't talked about a lot is the commercial properties. Oh. That, that are going to be foreclosed. I mean, you could drive in Vegas, and some of these shopping centers, they're like ghost towns. They they're are empty. Indeed. Next week, Bob. Empty. We'll, we'll, I'll do commercial Love property to. next week, and we'll see I'd what turns to. up then. All right. Thanks, Bob Massey, everybody. Best. Thank you, sir.